Hello, Fairmount family. This is Pastor Jesse coming to you on day 36 of Ohio's stay at home order in my home in front of a wall of family photos. Having just completed reading all the pages of the Fairmount history book, 100 years from 1916 to 2016, being inspired by the stories of the people who've gone before us at Fairmount, so many of whom are still around and have incredible stories to tell. I feel like I'm part of that family now. And so it encourages me to see some of the struggles that Fairmounters went through in the past. One of those struggles was back in 1918 in the time of the Spanish flu. And we were able to locate, with help from Nancy, minutes from October of 1918 when the session of Fairmount met. Mr. Borton, Mr. Ganson, Mr. Robison, and they said the meeting had been hastily called for the purpose of discussing the advisability of closing the Sunday school and church service as a matter of protection to the health of the community in view of the prevalence of Spanish influenza and resulting maladies. After careful consideration, it was unanimously resolved that until further notice, the regular gatherings of Sunday school and church for religious worship would be discontinued. I'm not sure how long that went on, but it was 102 years ago, and the church is still going strong. It was, I would think, a fragile time in the life of the new church back then. It may have been a hard decision. Our session recently made the decision to stop worshiping five weeks ago. We don't know how long that will last, that we can't worship in, uh, in person together. Uh, we'll continue our virtual worship services. But if we start to get discouraged about not being able to worship together, to do the things we're used to doing, if we start to lose heart, I hope we can remember the ones who've gone before us, the um, family of faith that uh, is on our walls or in our hearts or in our history books, the family of faith that's talked about in scripture in Hebrews chapter 12 in the New Testament. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. Friends, this is our race now. It's our time to persevere. It's our time to look to Jesus as the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, to trust in God, to lean on each other. And when we feel like we're growing weary or, or we lose heart, like sometimes happens to me too, we need to remember all the faces, all the faithfulness, all the love God has poured into us over all the years, and know that we'll be okay, that it is well with our souls, and that God is good all the time. So today, breathe deeply of God's grace and goodness and remember the saints who've gone before us and who persevered. This is our time now. Peace be with you.